right, today it's a Friday, uh, the 14th, uh, the month of May. And uh, I'm here again at Guava uh, Production and the Haitano plot. I'd like to show you around. So let's go and take a look, see what we have uh, for this week. To look at, at the plant uh, now, it looks very healthy. This one is one of the Taiwan pink uh, variety. And it's a nice looking uh, plant you know too okay let me show you this plant this plant is the one one of the plant that i'm really concerned over the health of. but look at that right now there's a lot of growth especially when you look at it here this is a new growth it's very uh, it's about a you know a couple inch uh, growth right there so that means this is a good tree now and if you look at it, the plant then you know on the uh, v-shaped trellises you're gonna you're gonna see you're starting to see that a lot of plant is grown the growth of the plant is pretty good because it's most is is beyond the, um, uh, the re uh, shape already so which is is good right that's pretty much what i'm looking for you know i don't want to push any more than this because i want to uh the root system to grow strong and you know a good root system that's what i'm focused to uh, pro and this is what i'm focused on not really above ground mass, but what really focus on, you know, the dose that the um, underground, you know, which is the root system. So you can tell by looking at the uh, plant, uh, they're really tall now and nice looking green colors and uh, a very healthy plant. So which is good. Okay, now when you look at uh, this plant, this is uh, this. Uh, Haitano, we plant the trees, it's very close, you know, it's more closer to each other, so that uh, the planting is a very high density, um, and it takes more trees per Haitano or per rose, uh, but this one is going to need a heavier pruning, or it could be less pruning, because when you plant um, close to each other, then they tend to be more competitive, so they all compete with each other, and then by doing that, that the canopy may be a little bit less canopy, smaller canopy, because they don't have much space to grow. And in that case, we might be light uh, pruning, you know, for this particular um, planting spacing. But let's see, you know, we'll reach there, have a long way to go, and we will we'll see what, uh, you know, it's, um, what's it gonna take. And so this one is totally different from uh, the one that I showed you earlier. And this one, like I said, you know, it's a high density planting. So, um, you know, the, the plant are close to each other, they're more uh, compete you know, with the, the space. And then um, uh, the waters, you know, nutrients, is all those kind of things. So, uh, you know, we we'll fertilizers, you know, we'll probably, uh, we still apply the same uh, amount of uh, fertilizer, you know, on, throughout the three, um, uh, high tunnels, but you know, this one is have more trees, so um, you can see that they're taking a bit taking more fertilizer and more water, so you know, in, in, in it. so it's still a little bit. And but they look very healthy, and you can tell that by looking at the bottom down up, it's just a very healthy plant. Okay, now we're gonna go to the third uh, high tunnel, and the third high tunnel is uh, we plant. You know, uh, the spacing is not much different. It, we plant a little bit higher uh, density also. This one maybe need a little bit more pruning, you know, compared to the one. Um, this is um, it's a, a different variety. And most of the variety here is, is from, the, uh, from uh, Mexico. So again, this is the uh, update for this week. Thank you for your time and joining today. I'll see you next week.